sharing with me. I have a bag of peeled and deveined large shrimp here. I have another large shrimp, but it's a shelled. I want to make a soy sauce marinated raw shrimps. This is so tasty, so delicious, and so easy to make. Let's get started. Okay, what? Let's prepare our shrimp first. I have some peeled shrimp and I have a shelled shrimp. I can wash it together. Okay, add some salt and add some sake. Any wine is okay, it doesn't have to be sake. Here we go. Some water. You can do this under the sink, I'm just showing you. But wash it. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna take it to sink and rinse and drain it. Okay, let's prepare our vegetable stock. Turn high heat. We add all the vegetables. You can use white onions. Since I had a lot of red onion, I'm using red one. Garlic, ginger, half apple, sliced it. Make sure there's no seeds. Jalapeno, some dried chilies. If you don't have it, you don't have to use it. You can use two to three stalks of green onions. I'm gonna save this for garnishing later. I have a lot of uh, frozen green onions. I'm gonna use it. We're gonna boil this for 30 minutes, but last 10 minutes, that's when we're gonna put our kelps there. All right, let's boil it for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna add kelps for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 more minutes. Okay, it's been total of 30 minutes. Turn it off. I'm going to strain this. Okay, now I have approximately 5 cups of a vegetable stock here. So when you make it, if you don't have enough stock, you can always add some water. So now let's make seasoning sauce here. Some soy sauce, mirin, cooking wine, sugar, and some rice syrup. If you don't have a rice syrup, you can add some more sugar or you can use honey. Okay, turn on the heat, medium heat. All right, mix everything. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna boil five more minutes, that's it. Okay, it's been boiling for five minutes, turn it off. Okay, skimp off all the forms. Okay, we need to let it cool down completely. Okay everyone, all the seasoning is completely cooled down now. Now we can add this to our shrimp. We have approximately three cups each. Okay, this time we can add some fresh onions, some red jalapenos, green jalapenos, and some lemons. Okay, we want to submerge everything under the sauce, so cover it with a plate. Okay, now we need to store this in the refrigerator for at least one day. Okay, everyone, it's been exactly 24 hours. Let's open it. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. All right, now, so let's strain everything here. All right, I'm gonna boil this. Okay, turn medium heat. Once it starts boiling, I'm gonna let it boil for five minutes only. I forgot to add fish sauce. This is tuna fish sauce, tuna fish sauce. I'm gonna add one tablespoon. Wow, you see these foams? We need to skim off. Turn low here and skim off all the foams. Okay, it's been boiling for five minutes. I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna have to let it cool down completely. Let it cool down completely. Okay, our soy sauce stock is completely cooled down. Now we can pour it back to our shrimp. Okay, we cover it. Make sure shrimps are all submerged. Cover it. 
Okay, we're gonna keep this in the refrigerator for three days. We can eat this after three days. Okay, it's been exactly three days. Three days. This is the one without the shell. This is the one with the shell. Now we're ready to serve. This is the one with the shell. Marinated raw shrimps are ready. exactly for three days. Let me taste one. Wow. Wow. It's so tasty. It's a little spicy, a little savory, a little sweet, and very crunch. So please try two different types of soy sauce marinated raw shrimps. Thank you for watching, loving and sharing with me. See you next time.